Hi, it's me again, Tunji from Caesar Graphics. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing book mockup. So we're going to be converting this into this using this. All right, so let's start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to um, crop out our, um, our cover from uh, the already designed cover. But please make sure you already have a cover design before you start this project. So I'm cropping with um, my rectangle Marquee 2. Ctrl C. And I'll come here and then paste it with Ctrl V. All right. And um, the next thing I'll do is um, I'm going to position this here. And I'll use Control Space Bar to zoom in. Then the first thing I'll do, the next thing I'll do is to convert this to um, a smart object. Now, the reason why I always advise that you convert your layer to a smart object whenever you are trying to increase and uh, reduce uh, your uh, your object and your layer is so that as you are reducing it, the image will not lose its quality. All right. But if you don't convert it to a smart object, if you're reducing and increasing the image, you, the quality of the image will drop. So I always advise that, always remember to convert your um, layer to a smart object whenever you are doing um, a project like this. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to give it um, cover, and I'll reduce the opacity so that I'll be able to, so to be able to see the layer below it. Then I'll hit T, Control T. I mean, sorry, Control T on my keyboard to bring out the transform tool, and um, I'm gonna zoom in with Control Space Bar or Command Space Bar. Then I'll position this here. Right click and choose um, uh, Distort, and I'll push this here Move down. I'm using spacebar to uh, to drag my screen. I'm holding on spacebar and drag, and I'll push this uh, here. Push this here. All right. So if you notice, if you look closely to my um, image, uh, you notice. I have this white line here now it's telling me that this part of the cover is curved but my my cover is straight so what we need to do now is to uh, make it curve so as to blend with the tip of the um, uh, mock-up so to do that you right click and then select warp all right so you have these two handles here that you're going to use to adjust it so i'm going to push this down to about here and i'll push this down to here right then um, let's see if we have the same issue with the one at the bottom all right we have it so we have it here okay so I'm going to hit control control minus command minus on Mac and then I'm going to um, increase my opacity to see what I've done all right so I'll hit enter to take away the transform tool Okay, so this is it. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is to work on my spine. So to work on the spine, we'll go back to the already designed cover. Sorry. And I'll use the same tool again. I'm using the same tool. All right. Then I'll hit Control Copy or Command Copy, and I'll hit Control V, and I'll position this here. I'll do the same thing. First, give it a rename your layer. Sorry, I'll rename my layer called the spine, and I'll convert it to a smart object. Then uh, zoom in, control space bar, control T, reduce the opacity. Then uh, I'm going to um, 
go to my distort option here is here So I'll make the layer visible again. I'll hit enter or I'll click on this button up here. All right, then um, let's do the back. So to work on the back, uh, I'm going to go back to my tool again and I'll draw on the quick selection again and I'll hit control copy. I make control C. Why do I keep saying control copy? Control C, not control copy. Or command C for the Mac users. So I hit control V to paste it. And I'll right click again. I'll say convert to smart object. And I'll give my layer a name. I'll call this back. And um, I'll hit control T to bring out the transform um, adjustment tool. And I'll reduce the opacity this time again. And I'll increase it. Now I'm holding shift alt to adjust the uh, eight point altogether now these are the points one two three four five six seven eight all right so i'm holding on um shift alt to do that and i'll position this here then i'll zoom in so i'll be able to, so to be able to see what i'm doing clearly i'll position this here now use space bar to to to, uh, to drag my screen so i'm using distort again and I'll push this down to about this level all right push this down and I'll push this here and I'll push this here all right so I'll zoom out okay then I'll hit enter and increase the opacity now I know some of you are now like, okay, how is it going to have, what, how is it going to achieve the, this part where the cover is covering the um, back cover? So I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's very easy. So the first thing we're going to do is to um, to hide the back layer so as to be able to see the uh, part of the cover where we want to do, want to be visible. Then I'll use my um, my pen tool. Now it's not compulsory to use the pen tool. If you had to type who is used to this tool here, you can always use this. Alright, but I always like to use the pen tool. Then I'll click on I'll click here. So I'll click here and click here. Here. Close it. So I'll hit make selection now. Feather should be zero. Okay. And I'll make this layer visible and I'll click. Bam. Alright, so this is it. Now um if you look at the image below, you see we have this shadow um effect on it. So to do that, just in case the book your book color could be your book cover cover is not as dark as mine. So what to do how to do it is this. First hold down control. Why do I keep saying first, first? Anyway, hold down control and then click on this, um, the mask, the add layer mask um, box here to create a marquee and um, create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and I'll rename it, I'll call it um, shadow. Then I'll go to my brush to make sure my brush is soft rounded and my um, foreground, foreground color is set to black. Then I'll increase the size of my brush with my um, square bracket. That's the key close to the um, P, letter P on your keyboard. Then I'll draw, I'll click and drag down, not draw. Click and drag now. And I am going to hide the, I'm going to um, remove the marquee selection by hitting Ctrl D or Command D for the Mac users to take away the marquee selection on the screen. And um, let's do the spine now. 
So if I come here, I'll do the spine, do the spine, do the spine, I'll go from the spine. Sorry. The spine. The spine. Alright, so I'll hit control key to control C on my keyboard again and then command C for the Mac users. So I'll hit Ctrl V again. I am going to um, rename this. I'll call this um, back um, spine. All right, and move this down. Convert to smart objects, and then reduce the opacity. All right. Push this up, push this up. So I'll increase the opacity now. And I'll zoom out with Control minus or Command minus for the Mac users. And I'll hit Enter. Good. All right. So um, let's work on these parts. So I'll go back again, and uh, I'm going to um, crop the cover. And I'll hit Control copy. Ctrl C, not Ctrl copy, Ctrl C. Now come here and Ctrl, Ctrl V. Push this down, convert to smart objects, Ctrl T or Command T. And position this here and then reduce the opacity and hit Ctrl. Oh, okay, it's already there, so I'll hit quick distort again. I'll move this here. Here, this here. I need to zoom in. This, this, uh, now, let me give you well, what I'm what I'm trying to do here for those of you that are, are, mind, are looking at it like, okay, how is it getting it? Now, I'm making sure that this line is touching the tip of my mock up. All right, so always make sure that try working on. Making sure that your the line of your transformation tool is touching the tip of the mock-up. Okay, so I'm pushing this here. Push this here. Push this out. All right, I'm gonna make this more visible again, and I'll hit enter, enter boy, or click here. All right, so I'll zoom out, hide this layer. Um, let me use this too for those of for those of you who are used to it, the polygonal poly po polygonal lasso too. Yes. Polygonal lasso too. You see why I don't like using it? It's because I'll have problem um, adjusting this side. So I'm going to go back to my pen tool. selection okay then come here and um, I'm gonna hold on all and click nope nope no no don't hold on just click 
all right so um i think we are getting there all right so the last part i'm going to work on i'm only going to do this side because of time so you guys will do the rest so i'll come here again and uh, i'm going to take out my spine again spine 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 control c uh, control a v convert to smart object please don't forget to always do that spine down okay so i'll zoom out i'll hit ctrl t i'll put that okay but this time i'm going to rotate it so to rotate it just mouse put, position your mouse on um position your mouse outside the transform tool and then you drag all right immediately you see your you see your um um your cursor your mouse change to this um, curve line it means you're ready to go so i'm pushing this here and i'll right click and choose um the start again push this here push this can you imagine i didn't change the opacity anyway you can still do that so i'll come here then this here okay yeah now hit enter okay so i think um this is where i'm going to stop the opacity okay so i'll zoom out control minus so um you guys should take the last part as your assignment so you do that yourself okay all right um thank you guys for watching and um watch out for my next tutorial i love you bye